it's not a win-win, it's a lose-lose. This is one of the most important concepts that you have to learn before becoming successful, before going into the world, before knowing how things work generally. We know that a lot of things in the world that we live in are a value exchange. You go to buy something, you pay, and then you buy something back. When you want to do something else, you go to, let's say, when you have a friendship, you're providing a value to that friend, and that friend is providing value back to you. And a lot of the things, even if you don't think about it, but in a deep, deeper layer, they are a value exchange, every single thing in the world. So you have to have some value, you have to provide some value in order to get some value back. However, in some scenarios, people try to provide a value, provide a small value, but instead get a much higher value back, which just creates a situation called a win-lose situation. Because some person is getting much more value but by providing much less value that he is supposed to do. And you might think there might not be any problem with that in the world that you live in. The winner might just win and just go away. But no. The real fact is that in an example of a win-lose situation, there is no such thing as a win-lose. There is no such thing as that. There is only win-win and lose-lose situations. I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you're a company and you sell products and you decide to sell your products much more expensive than you should be selling them. Let's say you're a phone company. Let's say, let's say you, you produce phones and then you sell your phones much more expensive than you should be selling and you're exploiting your customers. Well, by doing that, people are buying your phones you know, because they have to, you're a monopoly, and then just selling, 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 selling. But this mentality and mindset you have within itself prevents you, because you're selling so good, prevents you from doing research and development. And this not doing research and development provides an opportunity for other smaller companies to provide a good or a phone that's much better than yours and sell it much cheaper than what you sell and completely destroy your company. Only because you created a win-lose situation with you and your customers. But in a meta level, in the ultimate level, in the future, it was a lose-lose for all of you. Because your customers, yourself. Because you lost the market by not, by getting lazy and just producing bad phones and selling them for expensive. And then a competitor comes up, defeats you, and then your customers lost a lot of money because buying your bad phones for expensive price. So as you can see, there is there was no such thing as win-lose. There is only win-win and lose-lose situations. The meta lesson that I'm trying to teach you in this in this video is that always provide value way higher than the amount that you ask for. In your friendships, even if you're a company, if you're a business, always try to provide value much higher than you ask for. This is counterintuitively making you much more successful than trying to create a win-lose situation. Because in a meta level, even if you don't know it, even if things are get so complicated, always know that a win-lose situation is going to be a lose-lose. This is how the world works. If you look at look back at the history, and study all the win-lose situations, you realize that in the future, they all led to a lose-lose. The winner in the situation always lost at the end. That was the example of a phone company. Let's think of another example. Let's say, let's say um, another example is that you try to make a deal with one of your uh, you're going to see your company and try to make a deal with a partner deal with another company and you make some tricks in that deal and you make the other company go bankrupt. And because you do that, you gain lots of profit by doing that deal. But then because you made the other company go bankrupt, you lose on much more future deals that could make you much richer and much more successful. But because you 
had a trick to just get some short-term success and short-term money from that deal, you lost so much on a long-term success and long-term wealth by just doing that thing, creating this win-lose situation. So at the end, you realize it wasn't a win-lose, it was a lose-lose situation. So as a conclusion, know always to provide value higher than what you uh, ask for. And this counterintuitively make you much more successful, make win-win situations always, all the time, in every single metric of your life.